Hey guys, welcome back. It's Fida here. Guys, look at our criminologist, Ilebaye <laughs> herself, studying the crime scene. <laughs> When Ilebaye saw the punch on the wall, it was so hilarious. Her reaction, she said, Oh, well, Jesus. <laughs> My goodness. Doyin was also there. Doyin just, you know, did her hair and just walked out. Um, I'm like, they should just leave this crime scene for Ilebaye to investigate because that is her specialty. Anyway, welcome back, guys. Um, uh, they are cussing out CCO. Everybody is just shouting CC. CC should come and, you know, say her own side of the story because though he kept saying go and ask cc go and ask cc i remember that cc have not been feeling well for some days now you understand she even said it yesterday in the diary room that her body seems like it's not her body at least let her get a massage to know what is actually wrong so guys cc was sleeping and they came to wake her up to come and testify what really happened even if it's another person, the person is going to get pissed as well. Because, you know, those things that they are talking about, writing about, happened yesterday. And we all thought that it was dead and forgotten. Now they are calling CC to come and say, oh, come and testify. Oh, don't you have been pointing, you know, still saying they should go and ask CC, they should go and ask CC. CC was shouting from the blue room that nobody should call her name again in that house if they don't want to contend with her that she doesn't care about kim neither does she care about cross that nobody should call her name or more twitter people who have carried though they are saying oh why would she she, she she should go and you really say that okay perry said this or perry did not say it so that the the whole matter will be dead and forgotten according to them they say that cc has the final say that if cc actually testified that perry said it or perry did not say it they would die the case and the whole thing will be forgotten it's like cc don't want to dwell on the same matter since yesterday okay and this is exactly what happens when you have any conversation with doing or when you gossip with doing you will definitely be in some mess because she she has not learned how to keep her mouth shut I think in this life, there are things that we're supposed to say. There are things that we're not meant to say. Like, we're not meant to say everything that we see or everything that we hear. Like, if it's in the level up season, Brian could have been calling Doni insensitive by now. Um, maybe insensible or, ins okay, that she's not emotional. She lacks emotional intelligence. That is the word that Brian used to use then in level up. But, guys, let's just be honest, okay? Um, if they should just leave this alone because if cc involve herself further into this case into this matter you all know twitter family is not it, it will not be long they will start you know calling her bitter they will start calling her toxic woman they'll start saying oh you know how they is just very easy to you know um insult or call out cc in a case like this so she should even the leave me alone that she said that she doesn't care about kim opera neither does she care about cross or um, the thing is even breaking the internet talk more of when she involve herself further maybe defending um doing because people are saying that she should stand up for doing and defend her or she should just you know say the truth that perry actually said this or that she should have a say publicly address the case because she is the witness she is the third party i be the next person in the conversation that would do that people that is calling out cc to go and defend don you or say whatever to you know relieve don you of whatever they are dragging her for is it the same don you that have been fighting cc since the tenor of um, her hoh that cc will come and fight for like don you should really face her battles alone and fight her battles alone doing is a strong woman doing it if it's another person the person will just shut up or chicken out of the fight but doing is facing it squarely head on so don't you is a strong woman she's standing up for other person so it will not be a, a problem her standing up for herself i trust doing since you don't need to fight for doing don't you can fight for herself moreover guys you all remember the last time that cc stood up for doing during that um, misunderstanding between doing and elebae she got a serious warning and punishment for days and even ended up giving elebae a strike 
on the process okay so and even coupled how many times has don't you stood up for cc that she has to return the favor you know nobody she should not just stand up for anybody everybody should carry their cross in that house she has told them countless times they should dead that conversation but they are insisting everybody is dragging the conversation from east north and south i even blame perry i'm disappointed in perry somehow because he's the one that was entertaining this conversation about this triangle between himself cross and king had it been he just dead the matter him and kim and cross will settle the matter outside this whole thing will not escalate to this point anyway um i think do you think that um don't you really need to learn how to keep quiet at times because in the real world she could really get herself in harm's way all in the name of trying to be bold and trying to be you know that strong girl that says everything the way it is um uh, it's really it's really a lot if doing survives um tomorrow's eviction i just hope that it will be a lesson to her and some other housemates if you're gossiping don't gossip with doing you because don't you will open your nash like the way it is oh don't you will open your nash without even hiding it like she will say it as if it is even meant to be said openly anyway guys it's so hilarious how perez said that uh, if he were to be a girl he could have slapped doing it three times and leave the house voluntarily or maybe with disqualification but you know as a guy there are certain things that he's not supposed to do <laughs> my goodness anyway kim told him that um he don't know why they can't you know let the matter rest that there are some cliffs that will clarify everything when all of them get outside the house but moving forward do you think that cc have a say in this matter do you think that cc should bring herself and um really say that this is the way it went because it was him it was cc doni and perry that's had that conversation do you think that cc have a role to play in this or do she have the right to say that no i don't want to get involved i don't want to you know play dirty with you or anyway guys let me know your opinion down the comment section okay um moving forward into the house we're waiting for the tax the wages has is oncoming i'm wishing them all the best they have put in so much work so much effort so much creativity innovation into this tax and i'm wishing them nothing but to win their wager tax i want them to be eating as much as they can i want them to be happy upstairs and downstairs and i most importantly i want them to win the wager in um on much your last 10 no yes so but in all these things in all this fight and buzz buzz that is happening in the house i am more glad that ike is not even there seriously but i miss ike in the house though because i know had it been is ike that did that punching that spirit did hey god you could have been hearing up and down that the house is not safe with ike nito ike is mental ike is color mental ike is having some psychological issues that need to be you know handled ike needs to get a psychology in the house i think is <laughs> Some people even say that Ike is sniffing something, that he's missing it. That's why he's behaving like that. Without knowing that, oh, my, my guy is playing game, oh, but people don't like reality TV show material and he's out of the house. Anyway, guys, let's talk one on one down in the comment section. Thank you and God bless you for watching. Love you guys.